Mr. Payne, you had occasion to engage in conversation with Lee Oswald on a few, at a few times. Could you tell me about, a little bit about that? Yes, when I uh, first heard of Lee, I was uh, sort of looked forward with eagerness to it. An opportunity to talk with someone with whom I didn't believe I would agree, but at least it was interesting to talk to a man who had been to Russia and apparently had his own opinions. Uh, I thought, tried about four times, perhaps three or four times, to talk in a serious manner with him. Eventually I gave up for the reason that I thought he was uh, uh, not influenced by logic uh, or didn't let the present reality uh, influence his rather dogmatic way of thinking. And it was therefore useless to, uh, to talk with him. What type of uh, feeling did you get about his thinking? Uh, well, he, he told me that he uh, became a Marxist uh, uh, in this country by reading books and without ever having met a communist. And then he went to Russia, decided he wanted to go to Russia, he told me, and uh, told me he didn't like Russia then as wanted to return to this country. And I asked him then uh, uh, if he didn't like Russia and like this country, uh, why did he want to change this country to make it like Russia? And uh, he mentioned uh, repeatedly uh, this principle of his that he objected to the uh, exploitation of man by man. And this he thought was a moral uh, question. And so we argued, uh, I suggested that in the Soviet Union, the, uh, by which, which he means this exploitation of man by man, is that uh, any time that one man makes profit by another man's labor, that is, the first man is exploiting the second man. And that happens every time as in every business, every employer and employee relationship, supposedly. But I suggest the same thing happened in the Soviet Union. There was a taxation of a, any, every working man's labor there, and the Soviet state took it. This didn't bother him, though. The difference being that in the Soviet Union, uh, so far as we, in our discussion, it boiled down to this small difference, that in the Soviet Union, that was decided by a uh, person who didn't stand to gain by the decision. A man's lay wages were set by a man who didn't gain by, the, by that decision. In this country, presumably if the employer sets a high wage, or a low wage rather, the, uh, he will stand to make more profit by it. However, uh, in this country, he would not then object to some, supposing there were two companies, uh, one was run inefficiently, uh, and he employed his, his employees, we'll say, at the minimum wage, and didn't make any profit. And another man ran his company very efficiently and could give his wages, his employees, wages of $2 an hour, but made, we'll say, twice, made a 50% profit on it. In, the, in that case, that man, in his estimation, was evil even though the employee made much more money. Everybody made more money. Uh, this, it seemed to me, when his total concern hinged upon uh, a small principle of this sort and was utterly unrelated to the, uh, to the realities of how much the man made or his standard of living or his happiness, uh, seemed to me both uh, illogical, or rather, it didn't have, we could no longer talk on that subject. Did you feel at any time that uh, this type of uh, feeling were the reasons why he wasn't able to find work? Did you yes, I felt that uh, he was perfectly aware of this relationship with his, uh, his purely conjecture. But he probably felt, uh, he, I know he felt this relationship to his employer, uh, and he may have voiced it, or he may have uh, shown it in his uh, uh, scorn, which is the way he approached most people. Uh, so they felt it. He was aware of it, even if he didn't speak of it to his employer. 
Did he wear his, uh, let's say, Marxist views as a badge? Did he use them to gain attention at any time, or were they just there to be talked over? With me, he spoke very freely, and he complained that uh, uh, with other people he couldn't, um, uh, they wouldn't talk about political subjects. He would talk about nothing else. Uh, now I read in the, the papers that he didn't talk with anybody else, or didn't generally talk freely, so I couldn't answer that question. Uh, I would say he was the kind of person who likes to put himself in a position of a belligerence. Mr. Payne, did Lee Oswald's political philosophy at any time indicate to you that he may have been capable of the crime he's accused of? I was very surprised. Uh, when I heard that a the shot had been fired from the building in which I knew he worked, I uh, thought of him immediately, but dismissed it because it, I didn't think he was that irrational. I don't see how this uh, act of killing President Kennedy will uh, help any cause that he professed uh, or loved. Certainly, uh, it doesn't help the Soviet Union in any way that I can see. Uh, neither had he ever expressed any animosity to the president. Uh, he didn't uh, like... Uh, uh, he liked very few people, but he didn't... Uh, I expressed my appre appreciation of President Kennedy, uh, and he didn't uh, ever argue with me on that point. Uh, so it was a surprise to me how this happened. I don't believe, I think it's a lone wolf thing. That it was a, the opportunity presented itself to him and he probably wanted to make a mark on uh, society by suddenly it occurred to him that he could. Uh, of course, rumors are hard to pin down, but at this time they do feel that this was part, there is a possibility of his part in an international conspiracy. You don't feel that way at all. I felt he was a very lonely person and was not aware of any other, uh, his being connected with any other group was probably as, still un as unfamiliar with communists after coming back from Russia as he had been by his report before he went. Uh, so that, I would not agree with it. That was not my impression. Did you ever have a chance to talk about Cuban communism or Castro communism? He did mention that, and it was unfamiliar to me, so I didn't uh, didn't take it up. He just happened to mention it briefly, and when it was brought to my attention, I did recall that he had said such a thing. But I I don't believe even Castro, who might have a uh, the most reason for disliking Kennedy, can see where there's any gain to him by the death of Kennedy. So it looked to me like a. Uh, an irra a stupid, irrational act. 